Hi there and good morning. Today I will be covering traps named after the curious and enigmatic Akiva Rubinstein. And I'll start with a famous Rubinstein trap in the Queen's Gambit declined, which carelessly Rubinstein fell for not once but twice. First against Max Erva in Bad Kissingen in 1928, and then in a variation on the same theme against Alekhine in San Remo in 1930. This is a game Erva, former world champion against Rubenstein. So you've got knight f3, d5, c4, e6. We reach the queen's gambit declined in a different sequence of moves. d4, knight f6, and bishop g5, pinning that knight, typically as seen in the queen's gambit. Knight bd7, e3, and bishop e7. After knight c3, black castled, rook c1, trying to get something happening along that c file, which may or may not open. After c6, bishop d3. This position I have close to 5,000 times in my database. We're still deep in book, and black is around equal and can play many different moves here. Rubinstein chose a6. And Erva responded with C takes on D5, opening up that C file. Um, Rubenstein recaptured with the E pawn. And after castles Rook E8 and Queen B3. Here Rubenstein asks a question to the bishop on G5. If he wants to trade minor pieces on F6. Or if he wants to relocate. And relocate Erva did by dropping the bishop back to F4. And in this position, this is where Rubenstein went seriously wrong, not once, but twice. He would have been doing fine with a move like knight f8 or queen b6, suggesting a trade of queens. However, he played the move knight h5. He wants to trade that knight with the bishop on f Four, but he simply missed this move by white which wins a clear pawn at least and that's knight takes on d5 since after c takes d5 that bishop is heading for c7 and that's gonna pick up the queen supported by the rook on c1 so after knight takes d5 black will capture on f4 Knight takes on f4 and white is a clear pawn up and black will struggle to get anything out of this game. This trap, it should be noted, was first played in the game Amos Byrne against Heinrich Wolf in Ostend in 1905. But sadly for Rubenstein, he fell for it twice. He was known to be a master of the end game, but he failed to reach the end game in both of these situations against Alekhain and against Erva. So this has been the Akiva Rubenstein trap in the Queen's Gambit decline. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.